Greetings out to YouTube, it's here and here. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. Now, t okay, I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I literally just ended like the video for um, yesterday's video, which is Vlogmas Day 16. Oh my god, I already forgot what day I was talking about. Ooh, yeah, Day 16. But I totally forgot that a plant came in the mail. And they left it in the parcel box, so I had to go get it because my plant's gonna freeze and I don't want to be a bad plant daddy and leave my plant over there and I was already gone all day to top it all off and for some reason I thought that they were gonna drop it off at the front door and then I was like, oh my gosh, wait a minute, my plant's supposed to be here and it's not here, but it's like right here because I went to the parcel box to go get it and now I have to make sure that my plant isn't dead, isn't frozen. I know it's not that cold outside, it's probably about 58 degrees, but I mean it's still pretty cold and I feel like there's a lot of dirt right there, so I'm not going to open it right there. I'm going to open it from over here. I don't want all the dirt to fall. <gasps> Literally, the dirt is going to fall everywhere. What am I going to do? I should open this outside, but it's so cold. I'm being the most dramatic person also right now, so I'm very sorry about that. Um, but I'm opening it right here. And I'm actually just going to chop... Oh my god, hold on. Oh my god, my plan is right there. Okay, I'm just going to cut it open, kind of. And hopefully not chop up the plant of the of the plant online like was not this intense like this looks huge like I thought I was getting like kind of like a smallish plant but like this is big I'm actually very happy and it looks very alive um it came from like I don't think it came from very far to be honest Modesto I don't think is very far so, um, yeah, so I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to try and replant this <laughs> somewhere. Uh, I think I have some potting soil. I'm just going to, like, run outside and get some and then put it in a little pot. And then I will be right back. This is like, oh, okay, hold on. Okay, you guys, so I'm literally outside right now. And I have two pots. I'm trying to decide which one um, is going to be best for my new little plant baby and I am cutting my plant out of the box whoa okay so definitely I think this one um, so I'm just going to go I'm just gonna go and put um, soil inside of this guy and then I'll be right back. Alright you guys, so I have my soil inside of here and I'm gonna cut my plant free. <laughs> Which is gonna be easier said than done. I think I need to take these gloves off again before the car to maneuver my hand to the glove on. And I'm just gonna cut this open. I mean, this plant came a lot less damaged looking than my previous plant. But that one is actually recuperating really well. So, and plus that was like a huge plant and this one is just like a small little guy. So. Oh, I accidentally cut the bag open. So they said that the bag or the paper, whatever that's in here, can actually be planted or no. I'm just gonna take it out. And I'm just going to use my fingers now because they're already dirty anyway. I was trying to avoid all this mess, but it's okay. So I'm just going to...
All right, now I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna put some, what's it called? Some more soil in here. And we're gonna go back inside because it's cold. Uh. All right, you guys, so I'm super excited. Here is my new plant, baby. All planted up, looking gorgeous. She's already unfurling and all that. I'm gonna go water her right now, so let's go bring her inside. All right, you guys, let's experience her first watering together. Oh, so exciting. I'm just gonna let her drink up. I'm gonna let it um, drip out here in the sink. And then I'm gonna find a pot for her. She's so pretty. Don't you just love these leaves? Like, they're so cool. Oh, and here's an update on this guy that I got. She, like, looking really good. The, like, a lot of the leaves were, like, pretty much every leaf was damaged during the, um, delivery. But the plant is, like, such a large plant. And I had, like, no clue how it was gonna fare. But she's doing really, really well. And I, had a bit, I know I flip-flop going back and forth between he and she. But, you know, it's really hard to decipher between a male and female plant. <laughs> They're like ginkgo fights. The ones that smell really bad, those are the male plants. But this is a ginkgo fight. This is a philodendron. But gorgeous. I love the coloring. All right, you guys, so I put him in here. This is like literally my favorite pot. We have two of these and I love them so much. I got them from the Restoration Hardware Outlet. And I'd be so happy if we ever found more of them because they're gorgeous. But the um, the pot fits perfectly inside of there and he just like is growing beautifully from right here. So I'm really excited. Um, like literally all the leaves are looking pretty good. This is a baby leaf. So I don't know if that, that's just how it looks like when it's opening up, but I know it's a baby because it's like a lighter green. And there's this one too. I don't know if this one got squished, but I don't want to like do too much with it. So we'll just wait. But I can actually cut this off because that's a little root. So maybe I can like try and um, grow these already. I don't know. But I'm really excited. I'll show you guys the plant again in the morning. I'm just going to leave it right here for right now. So pretty. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I know I started today's video a little bit early and I'm whispering because everyone's sleeping probably and I'm like planting in the middle of the night like a crazy person. Alright guys, it's now the morning time and I had to show you guys the plant. It's looking really, really good now that I watered it and it's looking spectacular. Also, guess who has a tree over here now? Yay! Alright guys, we just got back from the movies. Oh. There's John. You like the movie, John? What do you watch? We watch Star Trek. Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> and then we ate at? Uh, Do you like it? Yes. Of course. There's Eliza. He's taking off his shoes. There's John. Hi, John. I have my shoes on. John has his shoes on. What kind of shoes are you wearing, John? Oh. I feel like it's been a little bit since I last saw you guys today at least and oh my gosh I literally never do this, but I just fell asleep. I was sitting on the sofa In my room, and then I was watching something on YouTube And I just passed out and fell asleep for a few hours And I feel like I do that like once a year and I guess like or today's my day <laughs> The year is almost over. So yeah, it was weird, but um right now I'm awake now <laughs> and I'm working on a video. This video is gonna go up tomorrow morning. So this is a thrifting video, and this is actually um, from yesterday. So yeah, but when you see this, it'll be from a few days ago. But it's yesterday from today, and yeah. So um, I'm gonna put that up right now. I'm still kind of like doing like some odds, like, odds and ends on it, like for the video, and then. Um, oh, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna do a haul for you guys for, um, the stores that we went to yesterday, and I'll do that in a little bit, and yeah, so right now I'm actually watching, 
Remy. She is like one of my favorite YouTubers. I don't know if you guys know who she is, but she is amazing. Let me, yes, right there, Rem Life. I'm watching her vlogs. She is so amazing. You guys have to check her out. And if you guys go to her channel, tell her I sent you. She is amazing. I love her immensely. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. So just a quick update. I'm sorry this video is kind of boring. I didn't really do anything much today because I feel like that nap totally ruined like the vlog so I'm very sorry about that um but I'll be back with you guys in a, in a second and I'll show you guys the haul all right you guys so it is haul time so I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got yesterday um I'll start off with what I got at the Goodwill so if you remember we went to um three stores yesterday we went to two crossroads stores and then after that we went to a Goodwill and that Goodwill is literally it's it's one of my favorite stores. You can find such, a, like, awesome stuff there. Um, they have gotten really savvy, though, with um, pricing, like, especially handbags and, like, any designer clothing, like, in general. Um, but I don't know. I just really like that store. It's really bright. I love the architecture of the outside. If you guys saw that, it's, like, all glass and metal. And it looks really fancy. And, yeah, but... You can still find some pretty good gems. So, um, I didn't end up getting that one, was it a, what was it, a Vince Camuto, I think? I didn't end up getting that Vince Camuto bag. Um, the, I don't know, just like the leather, the handles were really dirty and it's hard to clean. I didn't really want to re-dye it and it was already like, I think it was $10. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, but I did end up getting, let me show you the shirt that I got first. So I did end up getting this homie South Central shirt. And this is one of those Brian Lichtenberg shirts. And if you guys remember, these shirts were really popular, um, a few years back. And back when Kitson was still, like, a, like a store that was in business, um, these like, were really popular there and sold out, like, hotcakes. I remember, um, these t-shirts were quite pricey, and I got this for a dollar. So, I was pretty excited about that, and, yeah, so the color of the day was, like, was red. So, anything red was a dollar for, oh, uh, was half off. So, t-shirts there are $1.99, which is actually a really good price, because I have seen other Goodwills where t-shirts are, like, more than that, like, two ninety nine or three ninety nine or something. But it's really weird that I feel like it's not even by location or area. Like, not all of the stores in the same area have the same priced shirts and, like, items. I think it's, like, per store almost. Because this is the only store where I think shirts are $1.99 in that area. Like, the Goodwill, like, a few miles down, the t-shirts are more expensive. But anyway, that's... Like, not <laughs> that important. Um, but the next item I'm really excited about, too. And it is this gorgeous Croc Embossed Red Furla. It is really, really pretty. The bag is actually in really decent condition. And when I was in this, like, when I first saw it, I couldn't find the price. And I just, like, looked at it really briefly. But it's because the tag on it was red and it was, like, hidden in there. But... The original price was $30, so it was half off, so I got it for $15, so that was amazing. And look at, like, the, like, it's in really good shape. Even the edges are, are the corners of the bottoms, like, they're honestly, like, in pretty good condition. And the inside is really clean, and yeah, so I really like this bag a lot. It's so cute. Look at that. It's such a classic shape and silhouette. And it just looks gorgeous. And plus, during this time of the year, this is, like, perfect. And I really like this silver furla thing right here. It's so cute. So, beautiful. I'm probably, I'm definitely going to put this up in the shop if anyone's interested in this, too. And then, okay, so these next two things I'm so excited to share with you guys. Um, you, were prob you probably already saw... Yeah, I did show you guys these glasses. These, um, they come in this little case. These Gucci sunglasses. Now, these I'm uh, so excited for. And what's really awesome is that it came with all of the little, like, things that came with it. It has, like, the little Gucci receipt thing. And this is, um, the, I got this from Crossroads. I didn't get anything from that first Crossroads store. Um, I got it from the second one. There's, like, the little, um, cleaning thing 
for it as well. These sunglasses are so awesome. I love, like, like the little detail of the little B on the, right there on the arm. So cute, the little G is on the front right there. And I think it's just like, that's a really good, like square shape and it's large and I just love them. I'm so obsessed with these sunglasses, they're so cool. And yeah, like I said before in past videos, when I talk about sunglasses, it's really hard to find sunglasses large enough to fit my giant head. Like literally, it's like a pretty hard. So I was so happy to find some at Crossroads that did fit and I believe these were, I want to say, I think they were like $80, $85, which is a little pricey, but these sunglasses, I believe, go for about like almost $400 um, new, and we, like, um, I've, I looked them up used, and they go for like over $120, $30, 40 150 something like that, so I thought these were pretty good, and these came with a case, and they're in really, really, really good shape, so I'm very excited, and I, like, I'm so happy about this, and then... This one's like my pride and joy. Um, the last, like, how many times I went to that store, I always looked at this bag. I think I even filmed it a couple times um, in the store and when it was inside the case. And it was this Prada bag. It's huge. It doesn't even fit in the frame. It's a large kind of tote bag. The sides, they are, they do like button up, but I, I probably would never use it like this. I would always just use it open. And then it has like another button up at the top. And then this is like another like kind of silhouette for it. But again, I would never button the sides. I would just like leave it open like this. And it's such a gorgeous bag. I love the leather. It's like a distressed like... It almost looks like the Alexander Wang like washed Dumbo leather is what it's called. It's like lamb. This is probably lambskin as well. Um, but it's so beautiful. And I'm so excited. It's like a huge bag. It's perfect. And I've been staring at the bag for quite some time. It was like $425. But it was half off. Because it's been there for a long time. And it was in the case. And it's crazy because I feel like things inside the case tend to stay there for a little bit longer. And will eventually go on sale if you're lucky when you catch it. Because that's when, if you see that gold Burberry up there. That's like another one that I got a half off that I've been staring at for a while at a Crossroads store, but it was a different from a different location. But yeah, so that is the haul. Thank you guys uh, so much for like hanging out with me today. I had a blast. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm so sorry this episode, like this vlogmas episode, has been like a little bit jiggity. Um, it, I yeah, you know, falling asleep in the middle of the day will do that to you. But um. Tomorrow's episode will hopefully be a little bit more interesting. The kids um, do only have two more days of school, so they have tomorrow's Monday and then Tuesday. Then they're off till um, after New Year's, so that's pretty exciting. And then Christmas is just around the corner. Um, my aunt and her daughter Bella will be here um, like next or this weekend, I think is when they're going to be over, so that'll be really exciting. Kay's birthday is on the 23rd, so I'm super excited about that. I still have to do a lot of shopping for the kids. I, like, really haven't bought any presents yet. Like, there's just a couple. So, um, we, <laughs> I'll take you guys on those little shopping trips. I don't even know if I might just end up buying everything on Amazon or something. I don't know. Um, we'll see what will happen. But I'm gonna look on Amazon tonight probably and see if there's anything cool up. Um, or like do like a pickup at the store if they still have that option around this time because it's gonna be crazy. Like going thrifting yesterday, there was just like so much traffic. There were people everywhere and it was just insane. Uh, but yeah. So, thank you guys again so much. I love you guys immensely. Don't forget to subscribe. You'll be updated every time I post a new video. Hit the little bell for notifications. And I love you guys. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye! I also forgot to point out my Christmas tree that was sitting beside me this whole entire time. I was so obsessed with it. It's so pretty. And, yeah. It's so festive. And I forgot to mention that it was sitting next to me. You guys probably noticed it. But I have to give it a little shout out for being so adorable. I love it so much. I had to steal a battery from one of my battery powered candles because I still haven't gotten a C battery for it. But yeah, it just takes up three C batteries. 
and I don't really have a lot of C batteries and only like a couple of my candles run off of C batteries and everything else is on D batteries and I only have D batteries and I don't have any C's so yeah that's it. okay guys so look at this crazy girl.